Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great Wednesday. Finally above freezing in northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. I'm Dan Scoff, Chief Meteorologist of KNWA and Fox 24. And what's all this talk about winter weather? Of course that's what I'm going to let you know about. Is it for real? I'm here to tell you it's legit. We've got a big weather system coming in. In fact, a one-two punch is headed our way. But giving you a word of caution, this is a five, six, seven day forecast, so it's a long range forecast, and it will change several times. So what I say today may not be what happens. Of course, the closer it gets, the better our uh, certainty will be on it, and the better our confidence, the higher our confidence will be on this system. So first of all, what is the threat? Freezing rain, sleet, and snow looks likely. We have a one-two punch coming. The first punch will be on Super Bowl Sunday. That's right. Super Bowl Sunday midday, we could get a little bit of freezing rain and sleep mixed in with a little bit of light snow. At this point, the best chance for winter accumulation looks to be uh, 412 and northward on Super Bowl Sunday. That could shift as far south as the River Valley as well, but I don't think Sunday system is going to be a major impact. As we move into Tuesday, though, that's a different story. And then we have Arctic cold that follows it with morning lows. Uh, by the end of next week, dropping to near zero once again, and it looks like we will be under the in the freezer for several days to come after the potential for significant snow accumulation. So where will it hit? Well, obviously, since it is a very long-range forecast, giving you a word of caution, you see this, forecast details are in question, and the system's track is very much uncertain at this point. That, of course, will be refined over the coming days. But the entire area is under a risk for significant winter precipitation accumulation. Why will this occur? Here's the reason. We've got a major pattern change that is underway, and I'll show you that pattern change in just a bit. Gulf moisture is returning as well. That's something we haven't seen over the last two to three weeks. And we'll also see a zonal jet stream flow by the end of next week, meaning the weather pattern will be way more active than it's been. Now, yes, we've had these dry cold fronts that have come in and they've been providing rapid temperature fluctuations, but look at what's happening down in the southeast. They have gotten blasted in Atlanta. In fact, you don't see this every day in the Atlanta area. Just wanted to share this with you. There is a civil emergency watch for over uh, 1.9 million people in the uh, Georgia area near Atlanta, all because of winter weather causing havoc and wreaking havoc on the roads. But look what's happening to our northwest. You can see that there is an area in the northwest under winter storm warnings and winter storm watches and that's all because of a major pattern change that is already beginning to develop right now the jet stream is flowing uh, from west to east across the pacific northwest but later this weekend and into early next week a big low pressure system will organize to our southwest abundant gulf moisture works in to this mid-south and the southern plains you combine that with cold air that will be plunging from the north and with a strong cold front that sets up right along this region and even a little bit farther south, you get that potential for winter weather. And then as we move into the end of next week, we'll have several impulses and several weather systems uh, that come in with that zonal flow as these uh, jet stream patterns will take these low pressure systems and move them from west to east over our area, which could provide several rounds of snow. So obviously winter weather is going to be a likelihood next week. Where exactly and what time and what day, all of those uh, forecast details will be refined. But we're going to keep you up to date with the latest. You can always follow me on Facebook and Twitter under Weather Dan and uh, like us on Facebook, NWA Weather Authority, also under Facebook, forward slash Dan Scoff. And, uh, of course, we'll give you the details on the newscast tonight. So keep it here. We'll give you the latest.